Hey everybody, what's going on? Run down here, bringing you some manhunt today. Sorry it's been so late since me uploading videos. I totally meant to upload uh, more yesterday, but I completely forgot what I did. Instead of uploading videos, I think I played Assassin's Creed. Can't remember. It was all a blur of boringness. And I probably put the annotation in the last video that I put up, the one where. Um, I said I'm 33% of the way through the game and I haven't played Con yet. It turns out I was 33% of the way through multiplayer. I'm just illiterate. <laughs> Lol. I was actually about 10% through the game and I could play as Connor. So you spend one tenth of the game playing as someone who you don't even, you know, hear about. And uploading this game on Manhunt. Yes, white kitty, I see you. Good kitty. And, uh, this is a pretty good game. I have this one and the one after it where we all both get pretty far, but I like this one a lot more. <laughs> you can probably guess why. This one I figured out how um, better teamwork in it than the last one. The last one, like, I'll, I, if I were to upload it, I'll probably have to do it without commentary because the entire time I'd be complaining about this guy who joined in the beginning. It's like hip hip hop, bit bit pitch. It's like H I P P P P G B B B, something stupid. Like, it, I think it's even meant to be taken seriously. I kept trying to lock onto that, but then I realized, oh wait, that's part of the environment. I can't actually kill that. <laughs> I didn't mean for uh, tanks to get stunned here, but it, it happens. So I'm playing with this guy, Metal Online, which, <laughs> that's how, like I said, that's how all good stories start off. I met this guy online, and uh, before you know it, one thing led to another when you were playing Assassin's Creed 3 multiplayer. Good times, good times. But um, my advice for you guys, if you're playing Wolf Pack and you do kill a civilian, just follow your teammates because nine times out of ten they're heading directly to the same place where you want to be. And it kills me how many people don't really know how to play this game type. Like you're supposed to play the game. The, the, the goal of this game type is to get as many points per your kill as possible. And every time you do, the little bar up top fills up, and you see how it's saying. I can't see right now because I got the video minimized. I don't know why I have that. Extra time where it says so many points are needed and once we get that, like that, what just happened, that bar will fill up and it'll say, oh well now you um, unlock the next section and we're currently like section 6 out of 25 I think it is. And tank totally KS the shit out of me back there. That's one thing you're gonna find this game, like Manhunt I thought was bad with KSing. Like if you think Manhunt's bad, try this. Like unless you go in with the teammates, just be prepared to defend your kills, is what we called it in Manhunt, which is where, even though you may be like trying to get the best score possible, but you just have to go ahead and kill it so that you get the kill, otherwise, hip 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 hock 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 is going to run up there and uh, KS you for 100 points, when you have like, you know, him poisoned, focused, blended, on a bench, with, I don't know, on a Tuesday, and your trap card activates, I don't know, something. <laughs> So, yeah, just be sure you're playing with people who know who know how to not KS you. Like, Tank does a pretty good job. He only KSs me, I think, a few times, but I don't think he saw, either saw me there or whatever. Like, he's a pretty good player. He doesn't make very many mistakes. And I thought there's just two of them over there. I was like, whoops. I mean, I thought there was only one of them over there. I was like, whoops, there's two of them. So, I think I'm the reason here, because, I mean, I wasn't over there, so I was kind of the reason why he got stunned here. And we're like, revive! Now kick the people I just killed some more points. We need them. <laughs> so I played a few games with uh, him last night. He's a pretty good player. And all in this in this lobby was pretty good. There wasn't a few, there was only like maybe one or two times when they ran up there and I'm like, seriously, what are you doing? Like we need points. We don't need kills, we need points. Because I think last game like uh, I don't I don't even remember. I know the game not last game, the game after this, tank gets like sixty kills and I get like thirty seven and he only beats me by a thousand, and I was like, uh guys. <laughs> I don't really remember what it was, but, um, that's pretty much the only complaint I have with the game mode, is see these guys, like, he just runs up there and probably got, like, a 150-point kill when I had the guy in silent, and easily could have gotten 150 points. I mean, easily could have probably gotten about 300 points for that, so I could have tripled that score, but, no, let's just sprint up there and we have to get the kills. <laughs> This is kind of like a, uh, I would call this like a training manhunt, really. Like, people who are really good at manhunt are really going to like this game mode. It's kind of what I'm figuring it was geared towards. It's kind of like a um, more relaxing form of manhunt. Not necessarily a crazy, 
chaos everyone manhunt that manhunt is. <laughs> so I'm thinking, you know, this this game mode lasts. Like you, you see the link to this video. You saw it when you clicked onto it. That is a. I mean, I'm guess I'm gonna go ahead and spoil it for you. We make it. We I mean, we beat this. We make it past wave 25. Extra time. The last wave. We, we're gonna win this game. We won the one after that. It's just how we go about getting it. That I don't know why I did that. Oh yeah, because I was trying to kick that guy in. See here, I'm just following my teammates. I'm like, I figure they know exactly where they're going. <laughs> For the most part, at least, right? And, like I said, pretty good teammates. Wouldn't complain. Pretty good. Killing civilians here. But, as you'll notice, the, the thing that makes it, um, I guess more difficult is in the later stages of the game, they start getting ability. like the NPCs we're killing, they start getting abilities, they, um, auto-detect you, like there's really nothing, not much you can do, unless you have disguise, that's the only way you can avoid auto-detection. They start using smoke bomb, firecrackers, you'll see that towards the end of the game. I think that's, I think, yeah, this is the game that, that's the most smoke bomb, no, that's not the most smoke bombs I've ever, I've ever seen. The most smoke bombs I've ever seen was in Brotherhood. Um, <laughs> it was so many smoke bombs and mutes. I think I've told the story maybe once. I don't know if I told it, um, on the video. Uh, as far as on the videos, I think I might have told you guys. Alright, so, it was... I, every time I always play Assassin's Creed, I always talk about Brotherhood. Alright, so, so, like I was saying. Sorry to KSC there, Tank. Um, so it was on the... I think Monteregioni, I can't remember. No, 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 that wasn't it. It was the one with, like, the... It's, like, it's kind of like a cake. No, no, not like a cake. That's a terrible map. Let's just put it this way. There's a church in it, okay? And the church is, you know, it's completely empty. There's just... It's not... It's not San Donato, because that's the one I love, but pretty much think of, like, think of, like, the church that San Donato had, if you know what I'm talking about. Just think of a church, or a box, and there's one way into the box, you could run that box, the door slams closed behind you, it's a, it was a, um, chase breaker, and then up top there's another chase breaker, like, you climb up the wall and you get out. It was the door on one side, the chase break, the uh, door chase breaker on one side, and the big hole on the other, okay? And it was a clan v clan battle we were doing, and, uh... I had firecracker smoke bomb on just because I wanted to, uh, you know, it's this the thing we do with our strategies to throw you off your game and then beat you that way. And so what happened was all of them were sitting in there and there's no, you know, there's no NPCs in there, no NPCs ever go in there, so we know all four of them are in there. And we're all looking at each other like, okay, like how do we do this? Do we run in there? Do we mute run in? Like how do we how do we do this? And I just <laughs> I looked at everyone and I said, fuck this, Leroy Jenkins, and I sprinted in there. Threw down my firecracker, kept running, jumped up the wall, and I turn around. I see four mutes and four smoke bombs all go off at the same time. And as soon as that door opens, none of them had their abilities, and it was just an absolute slaughter. It was the funniest moment I think ever in Brotherhood. And one to, and uh, so jumping back to the game here that's actually going on. Um, so this is something that I do. That if you're watching this video, you should probably you know, do it, because it's the only reason we really won this. Um, whenever that extra person thing appears, like that extra time, you, you'll see it. Like that guy you kill for such such points, make a beeline for him. He has to die. <laughs> you have to kill this dude. Like, because your teammates, 9 times out of 10, are just going to go for these guys, because that's what they've been doing the whole time, and... Okay, so here's something right now. See the other guy's chasing me, but my bar keeps filling up. You can keep walking away from guys who are chasing you and just let the bar fill up if you need it. But see, they'll use Smoke Bomb and apparently Bodyguard, which is gay as hell. Thank goodness my teammates are team players for the most part. Yeah, I mean, these guys were pretty good players. Like I said, there was only like maybe once or twice a kill. See how I make it just a beeline for that guy? I, I, I'm not... I, that was my job for this was to... I guess what we call blazing the target, which is just pick the people out who you need to kill. You'll notice it towards the end of the game when everyone has blender as well. Like they actually get perks, they get resilience, they get a whole bunch of stuff. And um, I was just gonna run there because I mean, let's face it, I've corner tricks and pick people out of groups probably ten thousand times in my entire Assassin's Creed career, so I can do it pretty quick now. And. Here, here, I'm going to go and show you this. No, 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 this, is, this isn't it. It's one coming up, I'll show you. But, um, anyway, so like I was saying, I completely forgot what I was saying because I got so excited when I saw that. I'm like, oh, there's something for me to talk about, but no, no, there's not. Oh, goodness, what to talk about? Yeah, you'll notice that you'll see it here, how, um, you'll s how I'm scrolling through enemies and their little activities stuff shows up here. So you'll see, okay, this guy's a fighter, so if I stand next to him, he's most likely to punch me. 
This is something I'm only I'm just noticing now. I didn't notice it when I was playing the game. Just something for you to notice. <laughs> and the same rule, rule, rules, the same rules when playing Manhunt apply here. So everything I've talked about when I was playing back in the Manhunt days, um, they also apply for this. Like if someone's getting ready to kill someone, but you're it's it's the same courtesy. See how we both locked our targets? That's people we intend on killing. And you know they chaos me there. So that's see that's one of the times my team told me to go fuck myself and you know killed my kills. But see here's ten seconds and we have that many points to make. I know that sprinting up like these guys are doing is a terrible idea. There's no way we're gonna be able to make that. And thank God I was there. <laughs> Uh, I probably would have made it anyway, because I think there was one of the guy, and I think we only need like 50 points, but I like to pretend that I was the one who did it, even if it's my imaginary imagination. And, see, that's, basically, if we're playing Manhunt, I've called that guy on the left. He's my kill. And Jesus, smoke bombs. That's what I was talking about, I'm like, there's so many smoke bombs. And here, I'm leaving that for my teammates, because that guy, that time, the time person needs to die. He doesn't offer you any points, it's just time, so it doesn't matter if you sprint up to him like a madman with your flailing in the wind. Wow, that was a disgusting metaphor. I will definitely edit that out. That's something that does not need to be said on YouTube. Alright, say we were playing Manhunt. That means I've just called that guy right there. It's, it's just courtesy to people who haven't played Manhunt before, I guess, don't really know. Like, that's my kill, because I've already focused it and everything, but I decided to go ahead and switch it. And I don't think Tank actually got a kill there. I apologize. You know, courtesy would be I get one kill out of that and then I smoke bomb, la 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 da. It's this whole bunch of little rules that we made. I don't necessarily we made up, but it's just kind of how we played Manhunt. So playing this makes me really wish I had my old team back together. I'll see what I can do, because I know... I know Aspera will get this game eventually, so if I can get Aspera, Pikachu, and probably Pink, you know, we can get a little team game going of <laughs> Wolfpack and it would be probably the most uh, epic game ever because you'd have three pros and I think pink was pro so four pros basically yeah bodyguard and I like to say I'm pro even though I'm really not <laughs> uh, good times but yeah so uh, revelations revelations Jesus Assassin's Creed 3 is a bit like Revelations in that until you basically get to level 22 or 24 when you unlock Smoke Bomb, you're just gonna get pooped on. Like, there's just. You're gonna lose. Don't even bother. Like, you're gonna air games. Just try to get as many points as you can. If you can win, great, but you're probably not going to. <laughs> so, that's just my standard advice. I, I always went with. I went with the disguise ability, the one that has a little money bomb thing. And that money bomb, I'll, I'll go and talk about since I've got, like, you know, we're only halfway through the video. Oh, yeah, we are halfway through the video. Past halfway point. Woo! I think I chaos tank here. Sorry about that. But that money bomb thing is so situational. I wouldn't really recommend that ability. Um, that's the, the only abilities I've used that are new are the money bomb and the uh, little vision scrambler thing. And I think I've only used it on NPCs. I haven't used it on actual people yet. It looks cool, but I don't really know how effective it is because no one's ever used it on me. And uh, I didn't chaos either tank. I called that one silly. Remember? And tank, uh, I think chaos is me here. I chaos tank. No, I think I think was technically leading that, so he, she, it got it. I'm gonna take a swig of Gatorade, so uh, I'm gonna be quiet for the next few minutes. Oh yeah, that mic is so sensitive. You can listen to me swallow. And that is what she said. I already called it, so you can't write it in the comments. Not that anyone comments on my videos. Alright, so this is the one I want you to pay attention to. See in the upper right, this multi-kill here? Now, a multi-kill for a times 2 diversion isn't worth it. So I'm sitting here, I know they're getting ready to get kills behind me. It doesn't matter how shitty their kills are, as long as my kill is going to be big, I know we're probably going to make it to the next section. So I'm waiting on them to get times 2 multiplier, because I know there's 3 of them over there. I'm just waiting for it. Times 2, times 3, there we go. See how close that put us? Like, if you go back there, if you want to rewind it, you'll see that, like, you know, little points, little points, and then my big times 3 hit there. And I'm not sure if it goes, like, um, if it's times 3 for, like, that particular kill, or if that times 3 bonus applies to all of them just at the end. I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. And here I was chasing a decoy, like a, like a nub. <laughs> just like a noob. I'm like, yeah, I got this. Nope. 
Actually, no, Tank had that because she was already ahead. He, she, it, whatever. Good times. And you'll, if you'll notice in this game, it's a different than Revelations in that your detection bar decreases a lot faster. Like, it pretty much encourages you to walk everywhere. I don't notice it in Deathmatch because I do walk everywhere. I never, I don't think I ever pull down right trigger. Ooh, stunned. Thank you. And then the nub kills an NPC because he's, I don't know. I, I don't know why he killed the NPC there. <laughs> it, it's whatever. I mean, his compass wasn't glowing or anything. It's, it's whatever. You can go ahead and kill that. I'll get up on my own. LOL, 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 LOL. JK, JK. They, they all did a pretty good job. And I think this is another one that... Nope. <laughs> it, that's one of those kind of things where if you sprint up to someone and you see me already walking next to it, it's kind of one of those things where you gotta make a guess. You know, who's gonna get the most points because... It's, it is in a texture system, so he doesn't know how long I was standing there, so I think we both would have gotten the same amount of points for that. I'm not really wor worried about it. No, actually, I would have gotten more points for that. And here they're starting to use Blender and stuff. Go ahead and get that times four, right? Yeah! Oh, I can't see. Sorry, guys, the screen's been wise. And here I'm just making my beeline for that um, target thing. But here they're starting to use Blender, so people who have played Manhunt before are going to have an advantage because we're used to being able to pick out... You know, who is a real one, who's the fake one. God, Bl Blender is such a useful perk when you're playing Manhunt, man. I just think remembering it back in the day. Back in the day. And here I scared off an NPC, I think. Yeah, scared him off. And I'm like, yep, you're mine. And my teammates catch up and they go to town. I believe. And here I'm trying to chase that guy. I need him. He's mine. No one gets away. And I think someone runs up and casts me, actually. Or like, we're all sprinting after this one guy. No, this is one where Tank runs up and sees me focusing it and actually lets me get it. Like, a really nice person. No, actually, Tank was getting ready to cast the living shit out of me. Okay, never mind. Tank. <laughs> no, good thing I, good thing I uh, technically called the kill. Not called it, I, um... What did I say it was? Saving your kill? Yeah, saving your kill or something. And here, I'm lazing the long target like a champ. They sprint past me, go ahead and get the kill. Good times, good times. Hey, look, level 20. Or, I think that's... Yeah, me reached level 20. Yay! I think that's uh, also a challenge completed. For, like, you play or something, I don't really remember. So, let's talk about the campaign and the fact that I can finally play as Connor. The campaign, so far, I still stand what I said beside... I still stand beside what I said in the last video, and that it's boring. Uh, apparently, like, someone, one of my friends read reviews on it and s said it was really good. And he's like, oh, is it, uh, is it as good as the reviews say? And, honestly, it's, uh, I don't know how to describe it. I kill an NPC here like a champ. Because in other Assassin's Creed games, they can't close Chase Breakers. Apparently, that, wait, I don't know if he did close a Chase Breaker. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. I thought he closed it, that's why I went after him. Anyway, it's, the game's just... Okay, it's not like groundbreaking new Assassin's Creed so far. And the fact that I've been playing it for six hours now unlocked. No, I didn't play for six hours. I played longer than that. I played for like six and a half hours and I just now unlocked Connor. Can you but do play him? I'm just now at the Connor storyline. And even then, you start off Connor's storyline as a child. That's not fun. I'm, I'm sitting here playing as Connor, you know, running around the wilderness, catching deer and shit and placing snares and I'm just like I just want to stab someone's throat <laughs> maybe that's why they invented Wolfpack because the single player is so effing boring you have to come to multiplayer to just vent it I mean it's it's just ugh. it is just ugh. now way to go teammate you rock whoever spread it up there like a boss I know he's not gonna get a good kill score I tried to do it in disguise, see if I throw, see if NPCs reacted to it. They don't. Shot! That was a nice kill, though. I, I mean, I will give it to the team on that. That was pretty nice. Everyone but Mr. Pacho over there. <laughs> uh, nah, nah. Like I said, they all did a good job. And I'm not just saying that because I'm giving them all links to the video and they're going to be like, Run down, you suck. You said I sucked in this video. Yes, I did, but that was for a brief second. You made up for it in the next kill, so I'm not worried about it. And this was a good one, I think. I think this is one of those ones I was like, yeah. Yeah, look at that team. Look at that teamwork. That's that's teamwork right there. 
I would high five all three of you, but you know, can't. Okay, guys, okay, I'm gonna take another swig of Gatorade. So, uh, give me a second. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. Yes, that's some good stuff. So back to the campaign. I'm at the part where I mean, this isn't a spoiler because there's nothing really. I'm spoiling. I'm not spoiling anything. Um, I'm at the part of the campaign where the Boston Massacre thing just finished. I did the thing with the printer, you know, figuring out how to... Oh yeah, Notoriety's back again. I, I, the thing with the Notoriety, I, I kind of hate it because it's like, oh my god. I feel like that's all I did was spin in Brother, Brotherhood and uh, Assassin's Creed 2 was run around and tear down posters. It was so fucking boring. Whereas in, I think in Revelations, all I did was run around and try to get it as high as I could, and then just bribe, like, you know, two town criers, and I'd be like, okay, I'm good. You know, I didn't really care about it in Revelations. I think it was where it needed to be. And in this game, it's a lot different. It's like, you have to go visit printers, and, I mean, you can still bribe the whole town crier, but I don't know if you can pickpocket him, because technically Connor's a good guy. Connor's a lot different than, um, Ezio, because Connor is a good guy. Ezio's kind of a, I'm going to do what needs to be done. You know, I don't really care. I'll pickpocket this guy, whatever. It's no problem. Whereas Connor's like, oh, save the earth. Bullshit, you know. I don't know why I didn't kill that. I think I was, like, looking at something. I just wasn't paying attention. So, that's just the difference between Connor and Ezio kind of bothers me. I don't know if Connor can even pickpocket. Connor just seems like too nice of a guy to pickpocket. He's like... You'd be like playing as me. I, I don't think I could ever assassinate anyone. I kind of walk up to him and go, "Hey, can you? Can you? Here's a knife. Can you stab yourself? I don't know if I can actually do it. Sorry. <laughs> the only way I'm gonna be able to stab your neck is in a virtual online video game, where it doesn't really matter. So, right here, I know that if my detection system just now hit discreet, I know tanks isn't anywhere near it because he's sprinting up there like a boss. And. Here's the thing where, like, you know, it's the playing manhunt rule goes into effect here. I've already laid the target of who it's gonna be. And he's got his target, so. Ha ha ha! Ha ha! I picked wrong, just like in manhunt. And here I'm a terrible team player because I'm wanting to get the kill. <laughs> That's teamwork at its finest right here. Oh yeah. Teamwork at its finest. I definitely should have gotten Tank out there because I think Tank can still get the kill. That's, that's alright, I think I get ks here to make up for my, uh, that's karma right here. Yeah, but see how they had the little question marks over the head? That means they're investigating. Oh yeah, no, I get stunned. I get haybale stunned like a boss by an NPC. I should've just put down the controller right here. If you get haybale stunned by an NPC. That's alright, I kill him. I think that's him, I like to believe that's him. I'm gonna rewind the video to find out. But then I kill another NPC. I really should've just stopped playing. Uh, JK, JK, JK. Kill... But um, in the second game, Tank's helping me out by killing these guys. I think he gets a few of them, and I KS them once or twice with the uh, times, times, the time stuff. I don't know if I'll upload that game, because the thing is, if I upload that game, it, uh, it's just going to be 20, 25 minutes of me complaining about that Hippocopacopida guy. And as much as I'd love to put how terrible of a player he is up online, I, I'm not even sugarcoating it. That dude was terrible in the game. I, it was me and Tank basically backpack the team. The dude had, like... I don't know, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to spoil the rest of the video. You'll see when I upload it. But this, this teamwork with these guys here was absolutely fantastic. And I like how I closed the door behind my team there. <laughs> uh, team players! That's right, no one was behind me. I don't think they were. And this was nice. I remember this kill. Yeah, sexy. If only Tank hadn't gotten stunned. No, I don't care. That's nice. At least we got the kills. That's all that matters. Plus, he gave me the 50 points for the revival, so I appreciate you getting stunned. Thank you. And here we're at the last uh, little thing. I think there's you have to kill two groups on the last 25 sections. So we'll see what happens. And this is the game mode where, you know, if you want to go in with the team and do your poison stuff, you're going to have a great time. But if you're going to go in with randoms, um, yeah, you can still have a good time. I'm proving that right here. I think someone ran away. Yeah, oh, this is the final group. And Tank, I believe, gets the kill. So, go Tank. Tank's on it, man. He's like, I got this, guys. I got this. And there we go, guys. 
<laughs> I didn't know what that what the sound was. I'm like, wait, did we lose? And uh, there we go and win it. And then I pull up the dashboard, the dashboard, my guide menu. And I gotta tell him, good game, man. That was great. So, thank you to everyone who is playing. Tank and uh, the other two guys whose names I can't even begin to pronounce. Because they're like XX, PP, Kiki, Kiki, Kiki. I think. I don't know. But, um, yeah. If you guys are listening to this, thanks, guys. You're awesome. I'm going to take another Swigab Gatorade and do my outro. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That's good Gatorade. It's the uh, red one. Just in case you were wondering. <laughs> uh -huh. But so, yeah, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening. And I will most definitely see you in the next video. All right, guys. Later.